What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army already, but more. Big Boss is building a nation. My name is Vast Game Master, and this is a really well constructed and nice recreation of that nostalgia feeling of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And it kind of spins my head to make me think that, you know, if Konami would get their shit together, they could actually uh, reboot the, the Metal Gear series by making a, a Metal Gear uh, remake and, and, and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake remake off the new Fox engine, but that remains to be seen, and honestly, due to their credibility, it seems to be lacking. This is Snake. I've reached the infiltration point. Snake, right on time as always. Let's get started. Commencing Operation Intrude for FO0, FO, what is it, FO14? Let's go over this one more time. Your mission is to infiltrate in Zanzibar land and rescue the kidnapped Zek biologist Dr. Kia Marv. Got it? Got it. Where can I find Dr. Kia Marv? Well, Dr. Marv has a transmitter in the of the blood block. When you get close to him, he'll show up as a red dot on your site. So I just have to keep an eye out for the red dots. Good luck. Over and out. Now, here's the problem with that. We're not going to have that radar screen. It's not going to display where any of these guys are. Because this is Arma 3, this isn't this isn't actually based off a of Fox engine. This is just a, a mission that's been recreated. So what I'm gonna do, since most of the cutscenes are gonna turn out to be that way, I'll I'll have to read the text so that you guys can get it. Also, if you guys haven't played uh, the older Metal Gear games, I highly suggest it. I'm a huge fan when it comes to uh, the Metal Gear games, Metal Gear Solid games. Metal Gear Survive, uh, we don't talk about Metal Gear Survive, I, I don't I don't talk about it, nobody else talks about it. It never came out, let's just say that. Kept you waiting, huh? Snake. Snake. This kind of infiltration is Fox Unit's specialty. Weapons and, and equipment are... are I would say on-site procurement, but okay. Good luck. So, as you can see, we have no weapons. I actually have my own custom loadout that I personally like to use. I just like this a lot better, because I think it, fit, it fits. I, just, I really didn't like the loadout before, so I just made my own. 
Also, this looks nothing like Snake, but I figured, hey, it's close enough. Master Miller. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Basically talking about this. Hit T, get punch. And then, I think it's, yeah, left shift to kick to get a 1-2 combo and then kick. However, I probably won't use it that much. Now, this is a combination of scripts and mods to, and the Eden editor to help get this all together. And I actually think this is really well constructed too. This is probably, a lot of, I would say this is probably the best mission you would ever see on Arma. Try to wait for this guy to come around. There you go. Check on his corner. I am not very good at stealth, but I will try my best to, uh, to stay undetected. It kind of sucks that there's no non-lethal, like, trank gun to kind of knock out people. So I have to do this, uh, completely lethal. Most of the time I'll just end up, uh, just shooting and killing everybody because I don't have any other way to get past enemies. Turn reflex on. Okay. And for y'all know, I'm gonna probably get spotted like that 90% of the time. That's just how it is. What it does is that it just puts the enemy on on the alert phase, and it's yeah, it's. It's kind of, I would say it's kind of a bit, uh, buggy, but it's not due to the, the mission makers, it's due to the fact that it's just Arma being Arma, as in, you know, a lot of the Arma's AIs are always kind of goofy like that, like they'll see through trees and objects that normally you wouldn't, they, they wouldn't be able to see behind. So I'm gonna go to this tower. I really don't like to kind of kill everybody on site just to get by, but in a lot of cases I'm just gonna have to. So you got a bunch of options. You guys will probably like this mission because it's got some, some pretty cool stuff in here that I'm gonna show you later. Pick up fragments. I never use these damn, these damn satchel charges, but I'll bring them anyway. You never know, you might need to blow something up. Oops. Oops. Okay, hit the wrong button. This is what I was looking for. Now we have our own binoculars, so now we can scope out areas and try to find a way to advance without the enemy knowing that we're here. I kind of feel like this is a speed run. And it probably is because I, I did play through this like at least once. Mainly because I just needed to practice. But uh... Man, this is just... This is just the coolest goddamn thing ever. This is this will probably be my first time ever making an Arma 3 content on my Oh my god, where did the fox go? You'll you'll notice that happening. Just just pretend it didn't happen. The only thing I wish we could have is 
some way to hold up the enemy whenever we walk up behind them. But we don't have that yet, though. No. Somebody will make a script of it, because that's, that's the thing about Arma, is that, you know, the, Ar the Arma, uh, Arma community said there's enough demand for things like that, they'll make it happen. Alright, this guy was. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot him. Have to shoot these guys in order to advance them. <laughs> also, I have a mod that allows me to repel off buildings. But if you see me jumping over shit and repelling, yeah, that's because I'm using mods to kind of give me, give me that way to do it. Let's take the e beam. The bunker leads further into the base snake, but it looks like, come on, gotta text these one. But it looks like it will require three key, key cards to open it. Find those key cards. You guys are so last gen, I swear. And my, nowadays you don't even need key cards. You could just freaking, uh, you know, the doors will open automatically. So we're gonna go up this stair ladder. If I could find that, here it is. You know, actually, I was kind of thinking that in, in a lot of cases, I can de I could totally see Arma Three uh, being set up to where you can have more sneaky missions like this, which are solo stealth missions. Um. I tried to imagine a splinter cell, but the only problem is that I don't really see it unless you're going to do a recreation of the form of like um, a splinter cell chaos theory. Then I, that would be the only way. However, for a Metal Gear remake on Arma 3 engine, because we all know that Konami probably won't do it, this is pretty damn good. Good. I have a mouse that just, for some reason, the scroll wheel. Like, when I'm scrolling down, it wants to scroll up instead of down at times. I think it's because it's been overly used and I need to get a new one. Yeah, I have a metal one liner in here somewhere. Let me check this corner. Oh, my animation's not even working. Snake, you found a cardboard box. Equip the box with the interaction key, like so. And you'll be able to sneak around, like this. A box. I think I just found a key to true happiness. This is my destiny to be in a box. This enemy will never know I'm here. If I'm in a box, he'll think I'm just an ordinary box. And he won't notice me. He won't notice box. Nobody will ever suspect a box. You watch. When I come out of this building that I have to go into, he'll spot me and I have to shoot him. Which, by the way, I should save. We're taking a long time to save, aren't we? There we go. That save was taking longer than usual. This is where third person camera is actually a good thing. You could try, I could try going in first person and play the mission like this, but I need to be aware of my surroundings. Third person is always better for stuff like this. Alright, so we're going to sneak up behind this guy, and 
I'm gonna take my car. I'm gonna throw the cardboard box off me, and then I'm gonna see if I can try to melee him. Look, like just like a melee tank down. Let's see what we can do here. Just need to get closer. All right, that didn't work. Oh shit. Yeah, that didn't work at all. He was, uh, he already knew I was there because he was looking behind himself. He was like, I know you're there, buddy. Don't sneak up on me like that. Go with the Mark 23. So calm, pistol. This is the best pistol. This is the most iconic pistol. And I'm stuck through the door. They know I'm here. We gotta go run and hide. Oh my god, this save file. This save. This save is gonna be my enemy. If we just don't get spotted from this point on, they, they'll forget about us eventually. Alright, the alert phase is almost over. We just gotta hold this spot. God damn. Oh, they're all coming through that door. Jesus. I don't want this. I, mean, I don't want this to happen. Okay, I don't want it. Alright, cool. Third phase is over. Now we can go back in our box. Gotta check to make sure things are close to clear. We're good. So, the script gives you a reflex mode. Without it, it would, you'll just have enemies to shoot at you. And you're like, what? Who spotted me? And, you know, nobody would be like, nobody would know. Also, I think the the enemy will get alerted to you if they hear you. I don't know how that works. It just works out like that. We got one key card, now we gotta go find the others. I am gonna have to shoot this guard though, because I wanna get past him. No, actually, I don't I don't think I have to. I like how they just don't notice the cardboard box. It's like, wait, did that cardboard box just move a couple of feet? Like they don't, they don't think. Wait, there couldn't be somebody in that box, is there? And that's that's pretty much how the guards are in most of the Metal Gear games. Most of them would be like, huh? What's that noise? And some of them would just be like a box. They don't ever think that there could be a guy in a box. Nope. Some of America thinks so. Just like how in Splinter Cell, nobody looks up. At all. Period. Looking up is forbidden, because they don't have necks. Huh? Yeah, I spotted somebody. Who may have spotted me? So yeah, that doesn't make sense. I got spotted by someone, I'm not even sure who. There couldn't be people inside this this room, could it? Oh. 
So I just got spotted randomly. That's uh that's where I'm afraid. There we go. Finally. Nice work. That's that's the last key card stink. The radar is picking up a uh, signal coming from that bunker. Might be from Dr. Marv's transmitter. We're counting on you, Snake. I have to read that text slow because it's just... It doesn't, like, that's, that's, that's actually kind of accurate to Metal Gear 2. Like, the texts are always slow like that. It's just like... There are fast readers. But... They don't somehow think, oh, well, that's, uh, you know. We don't ever think about that. But we're still on the alert phase. I think the toughest part of this mission is probably the beginning. Because everybody and their grandma will spot you through walls and other shit. And it's just, that's just, it's not the, um, it's never the mission maker fault. Like, it's not the script's, like, it's not, it's not his fault, it's not, it's not the script's fault. It's just how Arma is. Like, Arma will spot you through walls and stuff, believe me. I tried to do close quarter combat and Arma 3 all the time. And one of the things that frustrates me the most is that you can't do it as well as you could with other games. But uh, Arma is just not built for close quarter combat. But um, you can, however, use it to do sneaky, so, uh, sneaky, sneaky solo missions like this. Doctor Marvin here figures that Foxhound would use such a cheap transmitter. You guys are little that. Oh my God! He's transforming. I am black. He's transformed into Black Ninja, a former member of NASA's Extreme. I wasn't finished reading that. Okay, now let's see. Just how strong the world's most advanced. Okay, show me what you've got. Okay, I was uh, all right. Wasn't done reading, but all right. This is okay. Hold on, I gotta save. Or just save. God, it's biased the fuck out of me. That I gotta stop and I gotta. I, I we gotta pause the whole game just to save. That's another thing where it kind of frustrates me. I'm out of ammo! Ah, oh, shit, it's shooting at me! Yeah, he, he seems like he's a pretty... I would say that the easiest boss is this guy. Like, he's the easiest boss. He is legit, like, the easiest guy. It's like, t teleporting right now with Instant, tra like he's just doing uh, instant transmission teleporting right now. I'm just gonna shoot him in the head. Save ammo. Yay, we did it. He did. The first boss is the easiest boss. Nick, who are you? How do you know my name? It's it's me, Schneider. Kyle Schneider, remember me? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember you. Schneider, you were in the resistance and out of heaven, weren't you? But I thought they killed you. You still got a lot to learn, Snake. I was almost killed, but not by them, by you and your country. What are you saying, Schneider? Snake, after you destroyed Metal Gear. NATO launched a massive bombing campaign against Outer Heaven. I gotta go back and play the Metal Gear games. All of, all of us resistance fighters and the children of Outer Heaven, they didn't care about us. There were there was no there was no escape from from the flames. They died like animals in a cage. I can't believe this. Think about it. The children of Outer Heaven were originally war orph orphans and, out uh, and blah, 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 refugees. They were a liability and NATO didn't want to deal with them. 
So they just decided uh, to kill him by blowing him up. Thanks, Obama. No. You're no different. They'll forget about you too, Snake, but he wasn't like that. Who? Who? He came and saved us from annihilation. He forgave us for what for what we done. He gave us a new land to call home. He did? You mean Snake. You don't understand soon. What a wonderful man he is. Snake, I owe you a debt. There's no hate between us, I'll tell you where Dr. Marv is. It's what he would want me to do. Find the man who's guarding the cell where Dr. Marv's being held. Follow that man, and he should lead you straight to the cell. You can tell by his green beret, he should be on the first floor. Got that? A green beret. Follow that man in the green beret. The green The guy in the Green Beret is also Army Special Forces. What is the what is the US Army here for? Ah uh, wait, we gotta save. Gotta save real quick. Even though it's not quick, it's like ten goddamn seconds. Thanks, Arma. How much ammo do I have, man? I have nothing. Off. We don't need this anymore. Also, I'm gonna use my ration. Tasty. Tasty. I wish I could do that voice. I don't have this scruffy voice like David Hader does. Oh my god, the frames just took a shit on me for a second. I'm, not, I'm using OBS to record this, so I'll have to see how how the frames are going with that. Because uh, the thing about Arma is that it's really demanding. That's the thing about that, it's, it's, it's really demanding on the graphics and whatnot. Sneaky. Always gotta check your six. You never know if somebody's gonna be behind you. When I when I crouch walk like this, I feel like I am sneaky. Also, I don't think this guy knows I'm here. If I stick to the shadows, he won't see me at all. his little shack. I'm gonna practice some CQC. There you go. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Just go to sleep. There you go. Night night. There you see what's in here. Oh, night star. I don't need it. All I need is my pistol. That's all I need. Look around here. There, you will find crates like this all around the mission because we don't actually legitimately have inventories. Then I think you can finish the whole thing, which is a pistol. It's Dr. Marv. It's been a while, eh, Snake? 
Dr. Drago, Pechevik, Madnar. How did you... Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other languages, and we were scientists, scientists and whatnot. A fashion, I guess. I don't know what's fashion. I was captured along with Marv and blah, 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 blah. Where is Dr. Marv now? He was moved from here to the to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. A few kilometers north, okay. Damn it! I'm late again! So Marv's in the tower building. Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something, and that means... Yes, Metal Gear Snake. It is here, in Zenzabar Land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one that you destroyed three years ago it was only a prototype. Now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who, who is behind it. The Patriots. Oh, Big Boss, okay. Yeah, Big Boss. The very same. With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plans to rule the world. We cannot let, let the secret of Oilix fall into, the hand, into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Mars is still strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he, he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying mi microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. Madnar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made of Kobaheim armor plate. You can't just blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Really? Because it's made of wood to me. Don't worry. I'll make sure you, you get home in time for dinner. Uh, I mean, your dog is fighting. It's fun about it. Stink. Thank you. Off to save Dr. Madnar. Snake. If Dr. Madnar was saying is true, then we don't have much time. We need to find Dr. Mad Ma Dr. Mar and put it in Big Boss's planes. Aye aye, Captain. He doesn't sound like that, I'm just giving him a funny voice just for hell. This is Dr. Batman. I have hacked into the security systems. The front gate should be open. Good luck. Copy. We have NPGs. I actually might need this. I legit would need this. Son of a bitch. I hate it when Armin does that. It only does that unless you go prone. Like, it wants to push the camera straight up in order to kind of make it seem like that you're colliding with something. What the hell? I'm Holly, Holly White. I infiltrated Zanzibar Land a month ago, posing as a journalist. So you know, I pretty much know things around here and I'll help you in any way I can. My frequency is 140.15, call me later. He's a cutie. She's a... She sounds like a cutie patootie. And she's wearing a bandana, just like me. Waifu material alert. Waifu material. I can smell that waifu. Oh god, it's moving! Okay. We're gonna go around this way. I like to go left. I need a rifle. Shit, I can't shoot this to this one. There. About to say. Now we can actually point and shoot in the dark. Because we have night vision.
I think this. Let me see what's in this box. Might be something useful. Let's see. Nope. I don't I ain't gonna use it. I don't need body armor. A real man don't use body armors. We found another bunker. It looks like it will require one key card to open it. Oh, shit. Sneaky soon. I'll put that in my backpack. Just swap over to this baby. So, here's what I found out that's cool about the sneaking suit is that you can actually uh, go invisible. Which I think is cool, and that would actually give it a nice purpose for a sneaking suit. However, the, its effects are kind of limited, so you have to rush. I miss. I'm gonna wait a little bit for this guy to come out so I can shoot him. Spotted me and shot me right away. Kind of scared me for a second. Felt much safer now that we're in a bunker because now we can bunker down. We'll punch it down. Oh, let me go ahead and take this off. Take my gloves off. And then we'll put action into something. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now I don't have to keep using my pistol all the time. As much as I like the Mark 23, I'm limited on ammo. I don't think I have too much ammo left. How many do I even have? I have like one mag left. Right. Oh, and I have... I can just drop those. Alright, let's use this. Oh my god, what the hell? Well, it's because I dropped the mag on the ground and the game is kind of freaking out. Because I'm, try I'm trying to walk over it. Uh, Arma. When are you gonna get better? Arma is just gonna be Arma. Oh. I, uh, feel like I wanna take that. I don't, need it. I don't even have space for it. A lot of grenades and explosives. However, I won't be using grenade uh, explosives at all. Not for this. We got spotted. No big dude. No big dude. I was gonna say no big deal, but somehow it just my brain thought, well, no big deal. Dude, or whatever. Oh shit. I could have just walked in here and got the MP5. I didn't have to walk in the dark cor corners of that bunker. Oh well. What happened happened. There we go. And we gotta save real quick. And there we go. So I'm gonna go and 
use his ration to heal up real quick. And we'll collect this one. Alright, we got what we came for. We are good to go. Click. Ah. Can't active camo on or something. Into the bunker. I feel like what a pleasant surprise. I just, oh, okay, I wasn't that reading. Okay, I was about to go for a little run. I am a running man, the world's fastest mercenary. No man can keep up with me. See for yourself. Damn, bro, what was that, two minutes? <sighs> what do you think? Pretty fast, eh? Yeah, I see faster. But I'm just getting started. Or warmed up, I mean. Didn't mean to... Didn't mean to change the, co uh, the words there for a second, but I think whatever. So we got running man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The frames. The frames. The frames! And the saving! Oh, thank you, Arma. There's nothing I like more for a frame drop than, than to have a save game that pauses my game for like 60 seconds. That's what it feels like. So... I'm gonna go hide in a corner because this boss is no joke. He will legit kill me if I'm not careful. I mean, him being fast is just one thing. Here it is. I probably don't need to So, I'm kind of hiding in a corner like a bitch right now because uh, this is the only way I can kind of get myself into a position where I can just ambush him. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not fun if they're shooting back at you. After that, it's more like holy shit, I gotta get, I gotta go find cover. That's what it feels like. I know if I wore that body armor, probably would have been able to withstand all those bullets. But, uh, I like to do things by way. Oh shit. No, why am I out of ammo now? Well, so far so good. 
used to watch. That's how I'll screw it up here. Damn, he's fast. Like, I kind of wonder how the hell did he get him to be so fast. Okay. He's dead. Ah, you used my speed against me. What's your name? It's Snake. Saw Snake. Snake. The cheat has lost to a snake? How could this happen? I guess you weren't fast enough. <laughs> Imagine that. You lost to a snake. Not to any snake. A solid snake. Out of France. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my gosh. Yeah, this happens. It, it, got, it gets worse because I'm using OBS. Alright, so our next objective is to find three key cards. Figure that's what's going on. 